That's why we need change. Real change. This is no ordinary time. And President Obama's platform of change could soon see its way onto your kitchen table or even to your backyard. Many of the laws and regulations governing food safety in America have not been updated since they were written in the time of Teddy Roosevelt. It's also because our system of inspection and enforcement is spread out so widely among so many people that it's difficult for different parts of our government to share information, work together, and solve problems. A dozen federal agencies continue to share responsibility for keeping your food safe, and critics say it needs major revisions. Be able to have options um, buy in bulk if I chose, um, and to have some products available to me that were hard to find in stores around here. No, I want to get the best quality food for, for the best price. And it was just last month that the Obama family planted their own garden, the first at the White House since Eleanor Roosevelt's Victory Garden in World War II. The First Lady says the garden will provide fresh food for the family while teaching her girls the importance of locally grown food. All natural, organic, and locally grown. Terms popping up everywhere in your supermarket and are now in the political spotlight. Sounds like everyone's on the same page, grow and buy locally to keep your food safe. But two federal House committees have other plans. The Food Safety Modernization Act of 2009, also known as House Bill 875, would transfer almost all state control over food regulation to the Food Safety Administration. The proposed bill also affects anyone growing or producing meat even if they are not selling it. Those in opposition believe gardens like this one are in jeopardy. They argue the legislation is too broad, giving the government too much control. The 37 congressmen behind the bill say it's just a national system for regular inspections of food establishments. House Bill 875 is still in committee, and while the result is unknown, what is known is that it will have an effect on the whole country. Reporting for the Buckeye Institute, I'm Lynn Walsh.